Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is DSP News, the unreliable ones. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to go over a very uh, sad situation, the revealing of the cat. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've, uh, I've been one, I've been an advocate in, amongst the community saying, Phil, do not put her out there. Phil, do not expose her for the wolves that are waiting for her. But Phil didn't want to listen. And I'd like to reiterate to you, ladies and gentlemen, that this is out of desperation. This isn't out of love. This isn't out of, hey, guys, you can see my girlfriend. And, you know what I'm saying, you can be happy about it. This is desperation. This is a desperation tactic. But before we get into that, I have a special, special guest in studio. A fellow newsman. A fellow critic. Asian GTG. What's up, guys? We're here to slay some pussy and make some stir fries. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You have clicked on what is very, which is going to be essentially the very public skinning of uh, of Cat, and it's a shame because it didn't need to go down like this. Now I know you guys in the comments section are going to be like, "Oh, it's not a cat, GTG. It's a horse. Someone get the saddle. Someone go ahead and get uh, someone get Jim Carrey's the mask and put it up on screen." I've heard all of it. Actually, though, you know, if you think about it, that is a horse mask, so would that make her both of them? <laughs> oh, buddy, Tevin has already done that. I'll show that to you later. The, try to keep the, savages, uh, the savageness at a minimum, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is a very serious situation. And the situation comes about that this is not a relationship. This is an arrangement. This is very much an arrangement between two people. What Kat's circumstances are to bring her into such a desperate situation is still up for question and or debate. We will talk about that as the video goes along. <laughs> I have brought in my friend here, Asian GTG, because I had been propping him on some of this, but he had to see it for himself. And when I showed him the video, he, he asked to come on. I, and just, I just couldn't believe it, what I saw. It was. The terrified look. It, 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 I'm telling you, man, she looks like a hostage. The, the loving stare that she gave him. D dude, it, like she's about to be infected with the gout. It's so shameful. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this video. This is DSP News, always late, never breaking, unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG network and productions with our guest host, Asian GTG. Let's get into it. Let's get it. <sighs> All right, hello everybody. Phil and Kat here, and welcome to a special <laughs> video that we've been planning on working on for a while. Uh, Kat has been living with me now for a yes. month. Yes. In fact, in yeah. fact, as of tonight, well, as of Midnight tonight. Looks like we've been here exactly one month yeah. in Washington living with me. And, away. you know, uh, rightfully so, away. there have been a lot of questions in regards to my viewership and my fan base oh, asking. With that being said, Phil has made a, uh, for all of you who see this on screen, Phil has been very adamant about the whole booby streamers and so on and so forth. Almighty Tevin had it right when he said uh, in that IKEA picture that she had some of those uh, hot cakes. But what is this here? Like, Phil, what, you couldn't have bought her a, a more, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, conservative blouse or something? Well, like, well he, he doesn't go out. Oh, touche. Touche. With that being said, a little bit of backstory on this young lady. We're not sure where she's from. The general consensus is she's probably from Michigan. That's what it looks like. She's, so she's Midwest. Mm -hmm. She came there with, it looks like maybe the, just some clothes no furniture whatsoever except for her PC, her uh, her monitor, maybe some personal belongings, and that's it. A copy of Overwatch? A copy of Overwatch, uh, which you yourself are an avid fan of. With that being said, 
she didn't really come there with anything. When he when she got there, he bought her a cell phone. He was the one who clothed her and basically was like, here's the kitchen, here's the house, here's me. Which one are you going to put your hands on first? That, mm. That's, yeah, it's a terrifying sight. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. But I, it, it really iterates, though, what the situation is with this. Yeah. This is scary. I, I fear for her. I do. <sighs> Any comments? I feel bad for her, man. I'm like, I don't know. That, that look she gave me is it's, it's like... The look when a, when a sad puppy is looking at you and be like, why, why have you done this? Exactly. Why she, have you done this? It's so sad. All right, let's, let's continue. Why hasn't Phil done videos with Kat? Why aren't there vlogs? Why hasn't she been in gameplay? Why hasn't she been on streams? You know, exactly. and I, can, I, I hear it from... from you know the kind of people who hang out on my streams daily and we have a great time and of course you got the negative idiots who constantly have to spin it in a negative way that something yeah. must be wrong like and there's like a reason why you she know just, i she hasn't been in it like, um so the reason we're making this video she's today, not convinced very simply oh God, is to kind of exactly. explain a little bit about what's going on and let you guys know wh exactly what to expect moving forward in the future give you some perspective on how things are going to be approached when it comes to Kat and having her in, you know, videos and streams and content. Uh, and a little bit of an explanation as to why yeah. there hasn't been a lot. She doesn't okay, want to be participated in. All right. So they have a deal. They have an arrangement, so she has to go with it. First of all, hey, she's lived here for Yikes. a month, right? Yes. And you have you had a good time? claw type motion on her? Is it, you see her face? You see her face? She's like, oh, God. Like, why? Exactly. She has that look where it's like, this wasn't a part of the arrangement. Like, you see how, like compact she is up there up top like you know what I'm saying like she's just kind of squeezed together now with that being said this right here was never supposed to happen Phil had told us she had no public persona whatsoever mm -hmm. she had no social media she had no aspirations of any of those things I thought she had a twitch though right she has all of that but originally he told us that she didn't mm -hmm. and then we ended up finding out that's what the 20 minute bounty came into play we ended up finding all of this out and then she, he just ignored it up until right now now he's talking about oh well now she'll eventually get on vlogs with me. She'll do this, that, and the third. And why? For, what does this do? For money, bro. I mean, I guess it's for the love of money. I mean, you should go and get a job like everybody else, man. Like, putting... Like, really? We're just going to sacrifice her like this? And she looks very uncomfortable. She, she looks terrified. She looks terrified. Like, I feel like she's about to pull out the contract and be like, uh, Article 69, Line 3. It's like no touching. No touching, exactly. Like, did he take a bath before they had to sit down or whatever? Is, is that is that grease stain he in front? I don't even know. Is, dude. is that a grease stain? I'm hoping she shampoo she shampooed the uh, that love seat dude, being that he had a situation on stream last year. I think after this, she burned down her her whole closet. Jesus Christ, bro! Just from him touching that one 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 blouse. It doesn't look right though. Like they like the whole the whole motion like the the whole movement and everything just doesn't seem right yeah. it just seems so off now now this might seem harsh you know we're kind of calling this out but it, it's just how it look like mm -hmm. you know you, I agree. you can't you can't deny i mean that's just our opinion you, you just, can't you can't deny the ter terrified look yeah it just doesn't look natural and feel creeping on her like that exactly it's been a while since i had a beautiful woman in the house <sighs> if ever dsp oh. news i mean you have his right hand <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. Time, at least in the month that you've been here. Uh, not at all, really. Actually, oh. I'm just joking. It's actually I'm been always. really good yeah. here. I actually really love it here. Okay, he's got the, um, the, the kung fu grip where on. I used to live. Right, I'm not gonna say yeah, he's right. Like, yeah, for for reasons we're gonna yeah, explain, yeah, obviously, in this video. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I really love it here. I love being here. <laughs> Still, and I mean, you know, we can do an I'm just really excited for all the things that we're going to be able to do. Could, uh, you know how big right. it is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the good news is, it's been a month. Everything's been going together swimmingly for us. Like, when you think of all the hurdles that we had that we thought, oh, man, this might be a pain in the ass. Like, getting your driver's license or car insurance or health. All that stuff's boom. It's been, like, really easy transition, right? Yeah, it all went well. We're all in the, you know, we're currently in the process of getting everything hashed out to the point where we'll have finally a schedule worked in where we know every week. Well, what, uh, what, you know, what your work schedule will be, how my work schedule is going to be, and how to kind of tie So everything's there on that in that regard. You saw how she gave him that crazy look where she was like, we, he's like, we all know how your work schedule was going to be, how my work schedule would be. And she gave that look like, Ninja, what? Uh, like, what work? Work schedule. Like, oh my God. Now, first things first, 
one of the big things I'd like to point out to you is when he was talking about, oh, we have everything, you know, ready for her as in getting her license together, this, that, and the third. We didn't need to know that. Mm. We really didn't. Thanks, Phil, for letting us know that all we have to do is check the, the files at the DMV in very Seattle. Much. We're going to find her. We very much appreciate that, Phil. That's that's great. You're stupid, man. Just making the job so much easier for us. Two, yet again, as a, it's just way too much information. And she's smart enough to realize that. Mm. You can see it by look on her face. But Phil... Phil has to hash it all out there. He has to put it all out there. Which is funny because, yet again, you'll sit there and put this girl on the chopping block. But when it comes to that tax situation I was explaining to you about, that we were talking about. Yeah. You won't, you won't sit there and sue the guy who ripped you off of three years of taxes. But why? Like, why not? And you said you have the documentation proving he could handle his taxes when he moved from Connecticut to Seattle. Mm. Yet, what happened, bruh? Like, wh where's the where's the documentation on that? Why don't you have that on screen right now, waving it around to the heavens, being like, here's the email, guys. This proves that he said he could handle my taxes. But you can't do that. But yet, you can put this poor girl out here. Knowing that, it only took us 20 minutes from the time he posted that picture on Instagram that we found her. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like Treasure Island and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they found a one piece. Exactly. Deuce be deuce. But as you guys know, there's been no video real content of any. This is the first time you're actually seeing Kat in a video of any sort on yeah. any of my my, my channels on YouTube. Or By anywhere. the way, I am real. Just for yes. all the people who don't who think I, I mean, don't, don't exist, I, mean, I am real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think I need to say that, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> right. Um, Unless so you're what, what's the deal? Part. Why hasn't there been anything? What's going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is this. If you guys haven't noticed... In the last year, I have made a very conscious effort to smile, basically man. try to separate yeah. what like, I consider like to be kind of my that. work it's life, insane. my online streaming, my videos on YouTube from just my personal sad. life. Just, uh, now, man, I know this is bad. a huge change for those of you who have hey, been longtime viewers objective, and fans of mine. As you know, I used to pretty yeah. much share every single thing on a daily basis, right? I used to tell you about my feelings about everything, what was going on behind the scenes of the, the camera, like whether it was personal so stuff, financial stuff, whatever it was always, I shared it's it all, like, right? Like, and to some extent, that was a positive. I feel that I had a great connection with my audience. But as you guys know, sadly, over the years, there's been some really malicious parties out there who've used that personal information to do really harmful things, including, you know, doxing, swatting, and doing all kinds of malicious, Something. slanderous. Oh, all right. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, the swatting situation in itself. I told you about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as it pertains to the swatting, was that uncalled for? Yes. Um, there was a theory going around for a while, and I thought, I believed it before I even knew that the theory was actually in, out there, that he actually orchestrated that SWAT, mm. um, for the drum of sympathy. Because the, the cops called him from outside to come out, they went out, they came in and checked the crib, we've all seen SWATting on screen yeah. before, so we've seen how that all was, you know, it, it wasn't long, he might have been out there for five, ten minutes, and then he was out. Mm. Now here's the problem, this is why I thought it was bullshit, why I thought it was fake. He comes back in, and he's like, <laughs> uh, Yeah, guys, they uh, they stopped the Batman stream for about five minutes, went out there, the police went in, checked in to make sure everything was okay. I had my hands up. I asked the cop, hey, can I put my hands down? The cop said, sure, you can put your hands down. I don't know about you, but no cop has ever, <laughs> and I've never seen any cop tell somebody, you can put your hands down unless they tell you first. Yeah. You don't ask the cop not a damn thing. You wait until the cop tells you you can put your hands down. And swine doesn't... It takes longer than five minutes, my friend. Exactly. For the cops to sit there and, like, they check the house, and then they brief them, and then they let them go. Yeah. Like, it takes a little longer than that. Even when Wings got swatted, it took a little longer than that. Yeah. I'll show you that video later. Um, so, and the, then he came in and laughed it all up. And it was like, oh, yeah, it wasn't a big deal, yada, yada, yada. Then, it was like a day or two later, then he does that one um, video I told you about, mm -hmm. where he comes on, he comes on, he's like, you guys swatted me, you guys could have had me killed, you could have had Panda killed, any of you guys who ever did a This Is How You Don't Play, or supported a This Is How You Don't Play, or any malicious video about me, you know what I mean, you condoned me getting swatted, and I could have been killed, I could have died, he's but, like, but, as a human being, I'm a right, I have a right to live. But then again, you can come in five minutes later. Laughing like an idiot. Yeah, and then he, it's like it's like someone told him on stream. Uh, Almighty Tevin had mentioned that and he. It was like someone told him later on, "Hey man, you probably could have really gotten hurt. You should probably try to do something about that." And Phil immediately was like, "Oh, I can milk that," and that's what happened. And like, e even if uh, let's say all this was true, you know, even if that was a nervous laugh, mm -hmm. 
Really though? Like I would have just ended the fucking stream. I would have ended the stream, but see, Phil can't. Now let's talk about his um that the DDoS um situation. Phil, you everybody knew what your full name was from the hop, so it didn't take long to get your address and all that. If you're talking about you, Phil, in Seattle, when you moved over there, you dared people to find your at your house. You were the one who said, "Oh, I'm in a gated community. No one's ever gonna find me." <laughs> I did. You know what I'm saying? He dared them. He dared people to try to find him his new house, and they did. And then his first couple of vlogs, he had every time he moved around the house, every he had to have the camera pointing down because he didn't want to show any landmarks. But now, I, not only do we have his actual address, his mailing address, we have that. We have pictures of the inside of his house because of him. We have pictures of his outside of his house because people were able to find it. I know everything around his house in like a like a five ten mile radius. That's fucking nuts. So you doxed yourself essentially. Really. And yeah. I know you said that dog feces was sent to him. He said people call. Yeah. No one here at GTG Network and Productions condones this happening to you. But like you, should, you, should get, you should keep your mouth shut. Exactly. You put yourself in that situation at the end of the day. I am, I'm not saying you deserve all that shit, but you kind of put it out there. Mm -hmm. So He made himself a target. Um, you know, just negative things, toxic things on the internet regarding myself and, you know, my family and friends, things in the past. It's been horrible in a lot of things, you know, that people would do this stuff, okay? So in the last year, I've made a conscious effort to it's not be as, too, like, tell you good. everything up front it's because like there's some things be that quite honestly, you guys don't need to know. You don't need to know every single moment of what's going on with me like, off camera, what we're doing at every moment's notice together off camera and stuff like that. Yeah. And the bottom line is there would be people that if we were constantly sharing everything would use that against us yep. to do nasty things. Yo, I mean, I didn't even let you guys like, know yeah, like constantly that I had been dating Kat for months oh, last year. Right. It was until yeah. late yeah. last yeah. year, 2017, when I even revealed it. And then when like, I revealed you know, it, immediately like, accusations that she doesn't how, exist how, and how it's bullshit and he's yeah. making this up. So then I took no, a picture you of you decorating the, the Christmas tree, <laughs> right? Because and then you got crazy ass conspiracy theories between. about yeah. you yeah. don't exist if you're an escort or you were someone with a wig on. Like this insanity. Like fucking insanity of what people just come up with out of nowhere with no kind of factual basis or whatever just because they want to cause drama and all kinds of toxic shit on the internet so purposely we knew that when we were going to finally have you know you, you can't introduce into stuff that it was going to have to be a careful process a calculated process not just oh it's you're here day stuff. one immediately just start putting out daily vlogs every single day yeah. and you know you're in every stream that i do every playthrough yeah. now you're here to into you know what i mean you're and from basically now, i'm not sure if you guys actually were able to we pick want up on it that, to be but when you see him when you see him explain the situation one he's talking way too much how much have we actually heard from her yet mm -mm. two you see him almost trying to dominate the actual scenery itself. Like, he, he's trying to make himself seem large physically and whatnot and overshadowing her. Hence the reason why she's always tilting like that. It's almost like she's trying to accommodate him and give him room. And Phil just being Phil is just inconsiderate. Yeah. It's, that's not a relationship, man. No. That's not a relationship. I mean, granted, too, that, that couch is, a, sorry, not couch, that love seat's small. So, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, let's be honest, you know, people. Like, let's be honest. This doesn't look good. It really don't. If, if any of you guys... It's like seeing two people on a blind date in a lot of ways. And it's just... And the, the date's tanking. It, it's just a lot awkward. It's very awkward. It's, it's tanking. Yeah. Quick. What are your thoughts though, so far? Um, I don't know. Do you think she locked her door at night? If I was her, I would. To be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 want, I wonder what happened that first night they met. In person. Well, I know they went out to dinner. Well, he said they went out to dinner in the movie or whatever. Maybe? Like, I mean, I would ass I would assume. Let's say this is an arrangement, right? I assume there has to be some type of, like, sexual in the windows that's thrown around there. There has to be some, like, gratification or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Having, because, like, it's going to be hard for you to live in a house with a female that you don't know who's not related to you. And there not be, like, something eventually. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's very possible that she just got disappointed the first night and after that she just swore them off. Just saying. What? Wow. Just saying. Hey, man, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's what true. This is, <laughs> hey, man, so four inches are just not enough. Then again, the, there is that rumor Something that the, when it uh, is, when it does happen. Penis that was sent to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, maybe. Uh, and right around the time that showed up, she definitely didn't hear nothing from her. 
She wasn't cooking. She wasn't doing wow. anything. Just saying, bro. I'm just Damn. saying. Sorry, man. As a newsman, I got to be thorough about stuff. That shit's funny. DSP News. <laughs> Full coverage. Exactly. It's special, right? Yeah. If we're going to do a video together of a game playthrough, we want it to be a game that both of us really enjoy and we built up to doing this as something where we're both involved in it. Not just, oh, it's a the first co-op game possible, let's just fucking do it, right? That's not what we want to do. Same thing with vlogging. You know, we thought, gee, should we do vlogs around the house? Should we do that? And we talked about it and we're like, honestly, you guys have seen the house. You know what I mean? Like, what's different about the house? Not much at all. I took a couple Instagram pics of your office, but outside of that, everything's the same. You guys, you know, who are you know, viewers of mine over the years have seen what the house looks like. You don't need to see just us do another walkthrough of the same shit. You know what I mean? Um, now, there will be things that logically Cat's going to be in moving forward. For example, because you live with me when DSP tries it, when that series resumes, which it is going to happen. A lot of people have hypothesized, oh, Phil's canceled, DSP tries it, where's it been? No, it just so happens that I did a DSP tries it right before you arrived, and since the last month, there's been nothing. There's been nothing new going on in the realm of food or anything that I would do for a special DSP tries it video, so I just haven't done one. But, I mean, duh, <laughs> Cat lives with me, she's here every Phil, hmm. The, the last time you, you, you did a DSP try it and, and you cooked for Panda Lee, do, do you not see the disappointing look in her face? Oh, yes. I wish I had thought about that because we could have put that in the video. We'll do that in a future video, though. Um, but because uh, Asian GTG might, uh, will pop in and out. That meat, because they just recently made meatballs in his special sauce or whatever that case was. You remember the first time he made that for Panda and she bit into it? And then he looks down at his, and then he looks back up, and hers was just on the plate. She was just looking down at it like, I guess I'll have McDonald's tonight. Exactly. <laughs> and then he's like, well, and you could tell, too, like, he was like, well, what did you think of it? She was like, mm -hmm. it's the most sexually, most sexual sandwich ever. And he was like, really? She was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> With that quiet, mm -hmm. And he's like, he's like, oh, because I don't have meatball sandwiches. And he's like. Oh yeah, you're not Italian. I'm sorry, I'm not Italian too, and I eat and I like meatball sandwiches. What kind of logic is that? That's like saying, uh, "Oh, you, you don't eat pizza. You're not Italian. You're not Italian. What? It's like it's like saying, "Oh, you can't eat Chinese food because you're not Chinese." Yeah, it's like saying you, you can't eat cats. You're not Asian. <laughs> too much. <laughs> A little too much. <laughs> Continue, bro. Hey, so if and when we go out to do a DSP tries it and we find a new item, you're gonna, you know, you'll be in the videos, yeah. obviously. Um, moving forward, different kinds of vlogs, like for example, if we do something special, if we go into Seattle, or we do something else that's outside the ordinary and we just feel like we want to document, like right? Or if we're out and about and we want to do some Instagram pics, you might be in those. Or, I mean, one thing that's a no-brainer, holiday stuff, right? If we're gonna do a video about Christmas or whatever, yeah, you're obviously gonna be in that stuff. So, just in that regard, that's saying. why you guys haven't seen her, is because, again, we're trying to make it special, we're trying to make it very different from my past, where no, everything no, was, every possible thing was shared, exactly. um, I mean, to the At point where, you know, think about how many, yeah. how much personal information and nasty stuff got thrown out there on the internet that I never wanted to be, and people, you know, hounding myself, my parents, get you know, getting prank calls and stuff, you know, it's bad, and it's to the point where, can't have that kind of shit happening anymore, alright, um, so don't think that the fact that Cat has not been in videos for the past month is because something's wrong or because Look, we, we you decided to, you know, that, that you, you don't want to do stuff together. Like, That's not the case either. He's touching her it's just that we're kind of saving it you know what I mean? so that when we eventually do do yeah, it, it makes sense and it's special. She right? changes a little bit. Now, in regards to you, do you want to talk a little bit about, you She's know, your gaming as a whole? Now, how many minutes are we into this video? Seven minutes. All right. So, in his video originally is like 17 minutes long, give or take. So outside of our talking, I mean, he's he's done. We don't really know much of anything about her. She's been doing the majority. He's done the majority of the speaking. And she's smiling. Is oh. she? Yeah, but it's it's not the same smile. It's not like how it was when we first met her. Yeah, you can tell. Like the last month has probably been rather stressful for her. She look she look worn out. That's she do, not in a good way. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah questions about you and the kind of games you like and the things that you do in gaming. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, well, I'm sure he's probably told you that. Like, like you saw Overwatch. how you might have missed it, um, but he did that snap neck thing like when he took the first, online the first multiplayer yeah. game. Now check this out. 
Um, I pretty much like all genre. The only genre game I don't really like are sport like games because I'm not really into sports. Yeah. But um, and racing games, I don't really care about those either. But I pretty much play like like I mean, I play it's shooters. Like, Obviously, I love like, Skyrim. I'm sure you told you that. It's like yeah. got to be like my top so favorite game. Um, I've just I played so many games. I I pretty much played like AAA. I don't really play a lot of indie games. I just play like AAA games. Right. I'm gonna be playing Far Cry Five like when it comes out. I know she's she's playing God of War. She has a really good PC so. too. So she can, like, do you have? Because this is what everyone always asks me. Do you have a particular game this year that you think you're looking forward to more than like everything else? Is there a hype game you really want in 2018? You know what I mean? No. Um, shoot. Hopefully she's my first. <laughs> What games do you think that is going to reasonably like, think would come out this year that you want, you, you want to play the most? Is it God of War? I know you mentioned Far Cry 5, God of War. Would it be Red Dead Redemption 2? Would it be, you know, all these big just, games that are coming out? Yeah. Do you have a hype release? Because that's what everyone always asks me, you know? Um, no, I am really excited for God of War. When I saw it, when I saw oh, it was released, yeah, true. God of War the is graphics look mm -hmm. really freaking good, and I have a PS4 PS4 Pro or now, or and I have 4K models. I don't know. So That's a good question. Excited to be playing that. I need to show um, you the speculator for the PS4. I know there's not really like a ton yeah, of games coming out this year mm -hmm. either, unfortunately. Well, like, Red, the games the problem is nothing has release dates, and I've said yeah, that a million times this year. If you look at my release calendar over here on the wall, yeah. outside of yeah, March and April, they're like, <laughs> look at her face, she's anything. like, and I think yeah. they can this year's going to be a big uh, year where yeah, uh, tons of like, dates will come out. All right. So. It's like, it's that's what, you know she enjoys a lot of variety of games but as you notice nothing in there that we say oh we're gonna co-op games and stuff a lot of people have asked me are we gonna, are we gonna play a way out together in two weeks no we have talked about it and we decided it's not a game that you know she's being too interested in and so no we're not gonna be doing co-op in a way out together or anything like that like i said even when we do decide to do co-op it'll be something that we try to plan so that we can do it together another thing you got to realize is that cat has a job and it's going to be, you know, have right there, we do, we'll have contract. to be worked around her work schedule and mine so that we can have time to do it together. So, you know, you got all these factors that come into play. All right. Um, I think one final thing that we should address is the whole situation of social media and how people sought you out and shit like that. Because it was ridiculous. Basically, when Kat, when I took one picture of Kat, when she had arrived here in Washington, right? And all I did was give her first name. Immediately, people scoured the fucking internet to try to find information about her, and they found her old Twitter and an old Twitch account, right? And your yeah. old YouTube channel. Now, oh. you haven't used that since I think now, it was. Now, real quick, <clears throat> as it pertains to the whole, oh, I put out her first name in a picture, and people scoured the internet, there's a couple problems with that, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, it was just like anything else. He dared us to go and find her. Yeah. He knew what was going to happen. The moment he put that out, they were. It didn't take long. It took twenty minutes, and everybody found everything. Second thing, he lied to us. He lied not only to the detractors, not that we matter, but he lied to the fans too, and said she had no me social media presence. Right. Now, granted, yeah, she had abandoned all that stuff for about six to eight months, whatever the case may be, but it shouldn't have been there. And Phil ends up coming out later on and saying, "Oh, she just did that just as an experiment." This, that, and the third. Then why didn't she erase all that stuff? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Her Twitch is still there, her Twitter's still there, and her YouTube channel's still there. There are a bunch of people who are subbed to her YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel grew in the time that since people found her. You know what I mean? She has a nice little market waiting for her when she ever whenever she starts to upload. Yeah. And that's what the point of this is gonna be, is eventually she's going to start uploading again. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Oh no, did you have anything to say though? No. Nah. Uh, okay. So like the first half of 2017. It's was been almost a year now since I've used videos. any of those yeah, like Twitter or YouTube. Terrible. I haven't been I'll on there, and it was it's on purpose she, 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 right. because yeah. I know. Well, now I know everyone went on there to try to troll me once the uh, pictures as as I see, I see of us came out because they thought it'd be funny. But then they realized that Just I haven't now. used the account in like a Most year or something like that. So it's like it doesn't really affect me. But that's why I don't. I'm not active on social media is because there's no reason to because i know people are just going to be they're just going to harass me and be stupid so. right right and you know hey me too, personally firsthand i can tell you from all the shit that i've been through over the years if i if i Pause didn't it. actively need to you okay first prop or first thing is first phil had told us originally when he didn't want to let anything out about her wherever she was at before she got over there with phil because he didn't want her to get harassed but once she's in the house once she's in the pig prison, the pig pen, she was going to be perfectly safe.
So what's the problem? Yeah. Whatever stress she goes through, Phil, you, she, you know, she takes the blunt of, you know, you'll take the blunt of that just like you're supposed to, she's supposed to take the blunt for you. Now, all of a sudden, she just doesn't want to go on social media, which here's the, and here's the problem, Phil, you're supposed to be a, you're supposed to have a business major. Mm -hmm. So this right here is publicity. This is good publicity for her. This should be the opportunity that she should be putting up her Overwatch stuff. Mm -hmm. She should be putting up this, that, and the third to make stuff happen. You need another uh, form of income. Yeah, this this she allegedly has a job that she's supposed to be starting soon. But if she is a gamer, a real gamer, Phil, not like you quitting games at the very <laughs> the very end on easy mode. Uh, yeah, okay, easy mode. The fuck well, for persona. He fucking quit that shit at the he quit that shit on the very last part of it because he kept getting charmed and shit and he couldn't get himself out of it and he rage quit it. He just rage quit it. Um, secret mana. Funny. He quit. He quit, last boss. He quit that shit. Actually, no. You know what's funny? And though? then did a Twitch I, longer about it. Like I, a bitch. I, I do play a lot of game. Um, I don't think I ever finished like playing a lot of game. Yeah, but, but, see, I, but, I, but I go. I go back. I'll finish it. Exactly. He when he quits it, he quits it. And a lot of the games that he's quit, like Scarface, he got paid to do that. So you got paid to play game. You got paid. Yeah. So you got paid twelve fifty to play a game, and you don't even finish it. Just you rage quit at the end. Just suck it up. He's not man enough to do that. Now, here's another thing, though, that I'd like to point out. So, she has no social media presence at all. She's, she's not interested in any of that stuff because she's afraid of the backlash. Mm -hmm. But yet, she can go on Phil's channel and do the co-op of gameplay and do the vlogs and do this, that, and the third, which is still putting her out there. But instead of giving her the, the exposure just herself to try to build her brand, if that was something she wants to do later on, mm -hmm. once she gains the confidence... It just furthers Phil. I feel like it's a lot worse to be on Phil's channel and do all that stuff. Like, what they should have done is keep her on the download, mm -hmm. have her do her own, you know, channel, mm -hmm. Twitch thing on her own without people actually knowing, you know, all the shit. And that would grow her independently. Exactly. So. And then ease her in later, I guess. Yeah. But see, Phil's greedy. It feels just so much smarter than everybody else. It's all right. He can he can send. He can he have money. He can send out empty boxes of games. It's all right. Exactly. Those, those, those uh, legendary giveaways, right? <laughs> I wish I wish I was on there. You know, <laughs> shit. I could really use a new uh, empty game box. For that Mass Effect, bro. The, the uh, I really do like Mass Effect. The special case, bro. No game though. Just no game. Just, just a case. case. Maybe instructions. Maybe book. instructions. So separately. <laughs> Gonna give you extra money on Patreon for that. <laughs> right, let's get back to like Twitter on a daily basis for business and stuff. I probably also would not be too active on there because I have so many people who just want to be nasty, right? And it's ridiculous because again, we didn't announce that you had a Twitter. We didn't announce that you had. You know, this was all sought out and found yeah. by people. And all you needed to do was look at it to see she hadn't used it in so long and it wasn't active. But still, people, you know, immediately have to, like, act like this is news and That's blow it up drama-wise all over the internet. Oh, my God, we found her previous stuff and, and stuff. Which makes no sense to me. It's like, why do you care so much? I'm just some random person. Insulting. Why do you care? Why do you care about, you know, matter. hurting me or insulting me, you know? And there's all these memes out there about me looking like a horse. I am well aware of that. And to me, okay, I was upset at first, but then Hold I on. realized... Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm sorry, sorry Kat. Oh. You, you don't deserve this. No, right. you don't. No, you don't. I'm sorry, Kat. You, you really... <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? I wasn't ready for that. Like... I wasn't ready. Oh, that was hurtful. Shit. I, gotta, I, I kind of felt her pain when she said that. I feel shit. bad. I feel bad. That was kind of hurtful. And you know what? Who's the blame to all this? So, you should keep her on the download. As you, yeah, you should. Keep her on the download. Don't don't even let people know you have a girlfriend currently. Keep her on the no, download. No, but he couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. Like, have you not learned anything from your past relationship? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that horse line. I wasn't. That might have been the best part of the video. getting upset over because it's just a bunch of morons God making jokes know. about like like I it's just funny now because it match. makes you realize how many pathetic I'm sorry but that's what reminds me of when yeah it's it's, it's, it's you know but the problem for is, someone right, it would be one positive. thing if the the problem day one is when you with walk the whole mask mask situation I'll take I'll take full credit for that like cuz I said it I'm a dick for saying that 
and whatnot. Find it on Twitter. I'm, a, I'm an asshole for that. Is Phil is really bad at taking pictures. He's really bad at angles and at filters and at layers and shit. So it makes it, it, it comes off making her look worse than she really does. Like right now, excuse me, in my comment section, there's the the great debate. Not even great debate. Fuck it. The great debate right now is who was prettier between her and Leanna. And that's a hard one because, like, like that one picture that I have on my first Leanna video. Yeah, she looks alright in that picture. Like, she looks pretty good. This one right here, I would I wouldn't say Cat's unattractive per se. Um, it's just feels just really bad at taking pictures. Yeah. But if you look at like some of her old pictures on uh, some of those old uh, old accounts that she has, mm-hmm. she's really photogenic. You know what I'm saying? She has a nice smile. It's just it's just very large. Right, right. Pretty yeah. large. Yeah, pretty large. I mean, yeah, she's probably packing a little bit heavier than Panda was and upstairs, but see the here nor there. I'm a cake man, so it's alright. Yeah, exactly. Walked in the door. Yeah. You were all over the internet, you know what I mean? And you had opinionated stuff yes. you were saying. Yeah. And you literally, there was a one picture of the day you were here, yeah, one picture sorry. of you on Valentine's Day, yeah. and pictures of meals that you've made. Yep. That's it. And already there's nasty negative shit all over the internet. So can you understand why we don't want to jump in and have a million videos together and things like that? You see what I mean? Like, it would be such counterproductive to have that. Plus, and I'll be honest here too, and we were talking about this before we even filmed, is that vlogging for me at this point isn't even a focus anymore. Like, this video we're doing right now is just kind of... Now, when he said, what he said just a minute ago is how they were talking about this before they started filming. That proved that he prompted her before before this video. And whatnot, because he needs her to really kind of follow his lead and support him the whole time. But this, but where you pause it here is perfect because look at that. They're they're both. It's um, what's that? It's kind of, think of um Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, mm. and you know how like how when uh, Jesus and Mary Madeline are supposed to be pulling apart from each other, kind of, and it's supposed to be the chalice. Yeah, it's the same thing here, but there ain't no love there, bro. She looked like a deer in headlight. Yeah, she looks completely oblivious of what's going on. And even further than that, I, I and this is just my speculation, I have no clue. I think before they made this video, Phil showed her some of the shit that's actually out there on him. And she just wasn't ready for it. No. Nah. And that would explain why she looks the way she looks now. Or 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 he doesn't show it. Maybe she just kind of did her own research. Maybe. Because he keeps telling her, like, oh, like, I don't think he was completely transparent about what she was walking into. Yeah. Like, he didn't tell her about the amount of hate that's behind him. And sadly, he definitely didn't tell her the truth and the fact that he's the cause of a lot of that hate. You know what I mean? Like, he brought a lot of this on himself. And even people in his own fan base have told him, hey, you know, stop doing this. Stop doing that. He won't do it. Do you think, like, she did her own research before she moved over to his place? I think, I don't, I would have liked to have told you yes. But I think she was, I think she was in such a desperate situation, man, that, she just took whatever was there. Like how bad of a situation it's got to be. Right? It must have been pretty bad. He said that she, the house that she was living in at before she moved over there, um, she had tried to, was she trying to like extend it? Like how long she was going to be there before she actually had the move? Mm-hmm. But the house she was living in or she was renting was about to be sold. Damn. So, the, which sucks. Now, granted, if she was able to pay rent at this house, she probably could have gotten herself a nice one bedroom until they were. she was ready to make that move. But whatever the case may be, she may have had to leave a really dire situation to go there. And this is not a laughing matter now. Let's try to be serious about this. Yeah. It, we don't know exactly what her situation was. She, she, the way it sounds, she came over there with little to nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's that kind of sucks. I don't know if she may have had a fallout with her family or, or whatever the a boyfriend, whatever the case may be. But I don't know. But it must have been a pretty bad situation to settle for Phil. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. The special thing because we wanted to kind of clear the air yeah. about what was going on. But vlogging for me is a fan service. It's something that I do for you guys, the viewers, because guess what? I make no money doing this. Like, I, I explained this to my viewers on stream a couple times recently. I used to make, like, for example, a DSP Tries It video. Mm-hmm. I'd go try a new food item. The video would get anywhere from five to ten thousand views, and I would make no lie, like twenty to thirty dollars on the video ad revenue. So it would pay for the meal, and I'd make a few couple bucks extra, right? Now I do a DSP tries it, it gets five to ten thousand views, and I make four dollars. 
not even enough to cover the cost of the meal. So you see what I mean? YouTube has fallen to such a, an abyss of, of just terrible profitability that the vlogging for me, when I go out of my way to do it with things like Ask the King or The Week in Preview or if I do a podcast or DSP Tries It, is for you guys because you guys have been such a, a long-standing viewership of people who supported me that I go out of my way to do it. So understand, there's no reason for me now because Kat's here. Oh, now we're just going to, every week we're going to put five vlogs together. No, it's stupid. And like I said... We, you guys have already seen the house. You've seen the stuff, you know, the daily stuff. What do you want to see me? Oh, we made a coffee together. Here's a video. Like, what the fuck? You know, it's so stupid and pointless and frivolous. No, no we're not going to be doing stupid, game. silly stuff like so that. Here's the thing. Um, Pause it for a second. But yeah, moving forward. Okay, so when he talks about the vlogging, the, the vlogging and how everything is fan service. First things first, when he started DSP Tries It, he was going out there to buy a lot of that food anyway. Either he said that he was working and he had to go off and get himself some quick breakfast because he can't cook for shit. And he would go and get something from McDonald's that he thought was interesting and he would just record it on the fly. Okay? Now, keep in mind, as time has gone on, as his channel has gone into decline, after being dropped from Machinima, after knocking, basically deleting three million plus views off of his channel. Yeah, that's why you're only making four fucking dollars, bro. You did it to yourself, though. Yet again. You did that to yourself. You can sit. He can sit there and blame whoever he wants to blame for that copyright strike. It was one copyright strike, by the way, on that fan art. The same fan art that currently, to today, he's begging his fans for because he can't do it himself. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm terrible at drawing, too. I'm okay. I'm not as good as the person who actually did my uh, my logo. Like, they are awesome. SSP, I love you. You're great. That, but um, that, that dog. Dog's amazing, bruh. I'm an evil dog. That's, don't do that. The suit, though, is tight. Anyway, but um, <clears throat> he did. He was doing a lot of the DSP tries it on his own and whatnot. And then he might have a special occasion where he picks something in particular. Mm -hmm. His channels in decline. All of his channels are in decline because of himself. Like what, like what we talked about with that Machinima situation, which we need to go over that video one day. Yeah. Um, because that'd be cool. Is if he had kept his mouth shut and just let them do their damn job, he'd have been fine. I understand that you're scared that you don't know what's going on, but guess what? You need to stay put. It's a it's a business. Deal with it. Exactly. And guess what? If he had just started streaming then, he'd probably been in a better situation now. Yeah. Because he can't get paid off Nintendo games. With Machinima, they could have probably slanted the rules for him slightly, and he could have probably still profited. Mm -hmm. But he didn't want to do that. Phil wants it done right then and there, on his uh on his terms. On his terms, and that's not how the world works. But he thought he was so special with Machinima. No. He thought Machinima loved him so much because he had a managed partnership from way back in the day that he had some type of seniority. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. And he doesn't. You're just another number, Phil. Yeah. Now you're not even there. Do you not know how many people Machinima have? A lot. Yeah. A you're, you're, lot you're not special. At all. You're not special. He wasn't a priority, bro. No. I mean, they sent him to E3 that one year, and then that was it. And he could have just asked if they could get him past the next year. And I'm sure they would have done it. But yeah. he didn't. He thought that they were going to cater to him. And they were going to baby him. And they were going to take care of him. And that's not what happened. No. You're not special. You're not special. You don't have the Keke Yenkai. <laughs> uh, believe it. Wow. If there is a reason. If there's a special occasion. If there's... Uh, you know, we go and do something special, like going to Seattle, and you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. On the holidays. Yes, then you'll see videos of us together doing stuff. Yes, you'll see her from see, time to time on Instagram. Nice. And yes, eventually, so nice if we do have plans and we have a game that we both like and we're planning, man, it's a co-op game. This is a game that maybe we could do together. Well, it'll be sure fun. We'll then we'll let you guys know well ahead of time so you know what to expect I feel and like you can come watch. But <clears throat> no, very much, as I said at the very beginning of this video, what I'm trying to do at this point is make it so that the work Phil what? is the so guy you the see on streams, the guy you see in videos, Washington, and that the other side of my life and you know, our lives together here in Washington yeah. is private and protected. So that way you don't have assholes from here, trying to get all of our personal <laughs> shit and trying to fucking find out all kinds of stuff about us. You see that look she gave him? She's like, just like stare over and be like, the fuck just happened? Yeah, exactly. Like, why, why, are you, why are you doing this? But see, he has to try to close it out strong, though. He has to close this video out strong and, and try to show that they are a united front. But the thing is that she's not going with the program. She can't lie. I don't think she can lie. No. I don't think she's a very good liar. And that's a good thing. But, you know, they have an arrangement. But Phil don't care. Phil's going to look back at this just like he did with the with the Leanna video, the emergency video when she was in the hospital. We'll go over that video one day if you want. And he's just like, this is gold. 
He's looking at the 17,000 views it has, and he's like, ah, I'm how, back on top. How much money can I get? Exactly. It's, it's sad, bro. I'm having there, two McDouble today. Exactly. You know, are things going on behind the it's scenes and twisting yeah. it and turning it into so slanderous nonsense on the internet, the which you know they're going to do. How many people are just going to take things from this video alone, oh, I'm, right? Yeah, I know. And make a million videos about it and talk for an hour. Yeah. This video will be like 20 minutes that long and there'll be like four hour long podcasts discussing yeah, yeah, this fucking video. That's, that's how, how insane it is. Exactly. exactly. But see, so, you funny. know, when we know when that, but that's that, what I mean. Though, we want to keep that's what he wants. Because yet again, it draws more attention. It gets him views. It, it gets him views. Yeah, it'll get him traffic. Because if you look under his tags, he has cat in his tags. I never put cat in my tags, ever. I never thought about doing it. I still don't. I feel I, that's how bad I feel for you, Phil. That I'm, I'm not going to take your tag over. I'm going to let you have that. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to profit off of her. I'm not going to do it. I don't make anybody off my videos anyway. Damn, so. bro, treating this girl like a like a product. That's all she was. Be honest with you, that's all Panda was for a while. Yeah. And then once Panda got independent, once she got a job, once Tyrone gave her the long stroke, that was a wrap. She once she got turned out wow. by a real dude, she oh, she was out there. She was out of there. You know what I'm saying? And this goes back to the same asshole who was like, Oh yeah, guys, give me a second. Uh Leanna's sick, but uh I need to make sure she gets up and makes dinner. I'll be right back. And he oh, woke that fuck. girl this girl was sick in bed all day and he woke her up to make him dinner. Shit, you should be making her dinner. What the fuck is this? That's how he is, man. Come on, bro. And this girl's gonna be the same thing. Uh, I, I feel like I genuinely feel, feel bad for her. Mm -hmm. Keep it to a level where it's under control and where it's not constant abundance of that. That's why she yeah. doesn't use social media. That's why we're not doing constant stuff together. We very much have enjoyed this last it. month. Where we've lived Which together, and we should say this, I think we owe it to yeah, the people who have been very nice to us, who were respectful, who yeah. didn't violate our privacy. And you know, there's some people, let's be honest, who are positive on stream, and they want to see you, and that's okay, because there's people who actually are interested in you. They want to know yeah. more about you in a positive way. They're not trying to be nosy assholes or people being negative. So to those of you who've been respectful and haven't tried to pry into our personal life, thank you. All right, because that is very much appreciated in the era now of 2018. You know, I've been making content for the internet for 10 years, and I know fully up front, I can tell you, it's my fault a lot of times. You know, in those previous years, I shared way too much with you guys, and it just blew up to the point where people could use that stuff against me. So that's why there's has been this change in the last year. That's why we're going about it the way we're doing. And, you know, we've been happy. We've had a good month together. We're looking forward to a great life moving forward together. And, again, we want it to be special when it does happen. Exactly. Okay. Anything yeah. else you want to say before we adjourn here or anything on um, your mind? No, I just want to say, you know, for the people that were being nice, because, you know, Phil tells me, I, I don't go to his stream, so I don't know, like, you know, what people say, but he has said that, like, there are nice, there are actually nice people that, you know, wanted to see me because they're genuine, and I, I only see, like, the hate videos on YouTube, you know, and all the slander that's shit that's made about me, so it does, I am really appreciative of that, of the people who are nice and who are respectful and just thank you for that. It's it means a lot. So positive. All right. So hopefully. <laughs> okay. First things first. Um, I understand where you're coming from there. Uh, believe believe me, Cat, because I know Phil's gonna watch this because he's watched all the other ones. So why not go ahead and watch the guy who makes <laughs> who makes made a, a network around him? Um, there are plenty of detractors who have stuck up for you too, Cat. You know what I mean? I'm an asshole for saying the mask. I, and I, I fully admit that shit. You know what I'm saying? Asian GTG here said the exact same thing. Um, I'm an asshole for that. And and I am. Actually, I, no, before that, in this, in this video, I'm going to be a dick, all right? I'm going to be a dick real quick. The way her eyebrow position. Yeah. She kind of looked like a caveman. I didn't want to. Jesus, bro. I'm sorry. I'm this sorry. This is not a progressive commercial, bro. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's a guy called Oh, Geico. Yeah, oh, Geico. Progressive? No, Progressive's with the, with a, with a, what's her name? Uh, the, the thick chicken all white. Putting up with Phil. So easy, a caveman can do it. Oh, Jesus <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I need a minute. <laughs> Fucking hey, man. I'll try to be sincere. All right. So, Kat, there have been, there are plenty of people in this community, whether detractors, whether trolls, haters, who have been genuinely... Who are trying to be generally nice about the situation? The 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 canon. You're you're. Uh, I hate to say this because it's harsh, but you're collateral damage. To be honest with you, Phil's the target, and Phil will always be the target. 
your collateral damage. And the sad thing about that is, is you're his shield. Yeah. You're his window dressing. Some people think Phil's gay, so you're his... <laughs> He's like, you're his beard. Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's That last part's a joke, at least as far as I know. Um, but you're window dressing. You're yeah. merely a shield for him. That's the only reason why you're there. You're there to drum up sympathy, and you're there to be profited off of. You're just life insurance. You're, exactly. You're just insurance. And that's all it really comes down to. When he's in the toughest spots possible, he can bring you in in hopes that as a couple, as a united front, people will be like, oh, look at Kat. She's trying. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit of money at her. Mm. And that's, that's not going to work in the long term. It's really not. Because there are more people in his fan base who want to respect you and keep you off camera because they respect you mm-hmm. more than it was with Leanna where people were just annoyed by her and they just hated her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She she comes across as much more approachable than Panda. But then again, Panda felt the need to fight back because she was young. And Phil kind of... And she was aggressive. Like, she was really aggressive now that I think about it. Um, until she just couldn't take the banter anymore. This one right here doesn't want any of that. No. I think she really just wants to fulfill her obligations. I'm, I'm scared to say that for her. And she just wants to kind of just be able to be her. Yeah. But you're associated with, by yeah. far, the worst person on the fucking internet. Yeah. And you can't escape that. Yeah. So. The only way the only way out, I can see, is work her job. If, save the if money. she's starting. Save money. And get out. Shit! As soon as, as soon as the contract's over, go and be out. Treat that shit like the Overwatch League. It's expired. Go. Yeah, exactly. And then and then maybe I don't know. Shit! If you want to like start your own brand, do Twitch stream on your own. Yeah. On your own term. And I think she and I think she can. I think if she if she chose in her spare time to put up like do some of her playthroughs like she was doing and she put like some of her Overwatch gameplay up there. Yeah. She would do well. Like I, I feel like she she have a likable personality. Like I think so. I think she she was. I think she's much more approachable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying and whatnot. The thing is about Phil and he talks about all this negativity around him. She hasn't. She says there that she has never seen any of his chats, like any of his streams. If she watches that shit, she'll see exactly how toxic he is. Yeah. It's basically give me money, give me money, give me money. I hate this game. All oh, this game sucks. Oh, why aren't you guys talking about me? Don't be talking about pizza. This this game sucks. This game sucks. Give me money. Yeah. And that's basically the in and out of it all yeah so like i say save your money you know maybe get your own place get out as soon as the contract's over and mm-hmm. you know just, just do your thing yeah so let's end this video this video cleared some air hopefully this video explained a few things that now you guys understand and moving forward you know it's again the reason I'm making this video is to explain. So tomorrow, I fully expect there'll be people on stream asking me a million questions about cat, cat, cat. You're not going to get answers because basically what we do is what we decide to share, we will share with you. And again, we ask that you kind of respect our privacy and our wishes. And thank you to those who have been respectful of that. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot for listening. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope it cleared the air. And uh, see you later. Bye. All right, guys. So... In closing, uh, what are your thoughts? <sighs> Jeez. I, I don't wish bad things to happen to her. Right. But like you said, she's, at this point, she's just collateral damage. Exactly. For what for what's coming to Phil and her, to be honest. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I can't stop it. Yeah, if I ever want to. Yeah. I don't. As for me, um, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's just that she's cannon fire. She's 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 collateral damage, and um, I don't think any detractor, including myself, wants. Uh, well, including Asian GTG here. None of us want that here at GTG Network. Nobody wants that. Volt Boy does not want that. David Davison does not want that. Tevin, um, uh, Tevin Argent, Theo, um, um, Mimology One Hundred One D, uh, Gout Police. Um, any of the old school guys, nobody wants this for her. You know what I mean? It's just, it's the belly of the beast. You know what I'm saying? Whatever her situation was that put her in the situation, it is what it is. She's going to have to kind of ride it out. Yeah. And we're just going to ride it out with it. And I, to be honest with you, I don't expect any shenanigans out of her. So I don't expect, I wouldn't expect you guys to have me report on her very often unless her and Phil gets into an argument on stream or some shit. She gets wild. You know, if you look at their relationship like this way, Phil is like Bowser, and she's like a Goomba, you know? She yeah. just accidentally gets stepped on, as as you... 
approach to, to kill Phil. That's so brutal, but yeah, she's merely a stepping stone. Like, she, yet again, she's just another, she's a barrier to, to prevent the detractors to getting the Phil. She's just one step. Because he doesn't have Bright Side Viking anymore. Hmm. Most of the whales are gone. You know what I'm saying? She's that next line of the fence. That's yeah. so terrible to think of it that way. That wall has got to be huge. Jesus Christ, bro. All right, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you to Asian GTG for coming in. Um, we will more than likely, uh, he'll more than likely just step in on the channel with us every once in a while. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick up some old stuff, some new stuff. It should be fun. Hopefully, y'all like this new layout. Yeah, because it was his idea to, to kind of get into that. So, that was cool. Um, don't worry, I'll still do the... I'll, I'll try to flip back and forth between this and the old way of doing it because, you know, you guys love the girls. So, uh, oh, true. Yeah. I mean, kind of you can put the girl on. I could in a slideshow, but then they'll ne they won't listen to me. <laughs> you know, no, you can do You can put, like, you know, like that calendar, the pinned up calendar. If you can make, like, the. Oh, make the window small. So, like, it changed every night. Oh, like. that'd be gangster. Yeah. Yeah. I got to definitely talk to SSP and see if, uh, if I can uh, ask about getting another, another piece of uh, artwork. That'd be dope. Anyway, but we'll we'll talk about that at a later time. I can I can hit them up on Twitter or something. Thank you again to uh, my co-host Asian GTG for coming through. Yeah, uh, man, it was fun. It was fun doing this. It was fun, man. I appreciate you coming through, ladies and gentlemen. This is DSP News. Always late, never breaking, unreliable coverage that you can't count on. A GTG Network and Productions. This is a GTG as well as Asian GTG signing off. In the broadcast.